Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a, another video. As you can see from the title, today we have a naked fashion and a sauce haul. I've picked up a few pieces over the last few weeks and wanted to share them with you guys. Okay, so there are a few discounts that I wanted to make you aware of initially, as you will all be fully aware, it is Cyber Week, Black Friday, so it is the busiest time of the year in terms of sales and discounts and things like that. So yeah, obviously wanted to make you aware of the percentages that are available now obviously these are likely to change they kind of change them every day so it's definitely worth having a look and seeing what the offer is when you purchase so at the moment ASOS currently have up to 50% off everything and Naked Fashion have 30% off everything but they are doing so like for example today you'll be able to get tops shirts and blouses at 40% off so they're doing different ones as well as the 30% off of everything if that makes sense now Naked Fashion is somewhere that I've not really shopped on that much probably the last time that I shopped there was probably about a year ago and to be honest I just completely forgot about them and then I had a look on their website this week and they had some amazing autumn winter pieces and from what I can remember the quality was really really amazing so I picked up a few pieces as you would have known from my H&M haul um, you would have seen that I was wearing this jumper this one was actually from Naked Fashion and I got this one in an extra extra small slash extra small now this is a chunky knit jumper and what I really loved about this jumper was the shoulder detailing over over here and um, it's in a kind of like a camely brownie color which I really really like um, again I just really I know I've said this quite a lot but I just really like the tones against my brown hair um, and considering this is an extra extra small slash extra small it's still a really really nice fit it's not too um, tight it's quite oversized still and it fits really nicely um, and it's not itchy it's a really yeah really comfortable knit the only thing that I would say is because it's obviously a loose knit I find that these do sometimes stretch as well so it is good two size down and um, I'll just show you a little bit more detail please excuse the state of my nails as you know we can't get our nails done until next week so yeah they're holding on for dear life um but yeah this is the detailing on the shoulder there and it's just got the chunky neckline which I really really like and it's got the contrast knit band at the bottom and then also on the cuff so yeah this is a really really nice jumper to wear with jeans you can also wear it layered with a like white long shirt and knee-high boots I think that also looks really really fab and yeah I think this would also look great with a pair of like nude leggings as well it's such a versatile knit and such a versatile color and I'm really loving this color at the moment so yeah that is the first one and then we all know I'm partial to a puffer and I saw this leather puffer and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Um, I know that quite a few other brands do do a leather puffer. I've seen some on Zara. I've seen some on Topshop, I think. Um, so yeah, there is quite a few different options about around. What I liked about this one is that the other ones that I've seen are quite cropped, whereas this one is like a normal sized leather puffer. I got this one in a size 36, which I believe equates to a UK 8. I might be wrong um but yeah they're all obviously eu sizing so this is a pu padded jacket and i got it in 36 it's a really really soft leather which i like and it's not squeaky like i hate this something when you have like a leather jacket and you just squeak it's really really soft um and yeah it looks really really good paired with like a turtleneck underneath with black jeans also looks good with like a white top underneath with blue jeans and trainers um such a versatile piece and it's really it feels really warm as well and I feel like I'll get quite a lot of wear out of that one. Sticking on two coats, I picked up this gorgeous trench coat. Now, one of the main reasons for me going on Naked Fashion was that I saw this on a girl on Instagram and absolutely loved it. So it's in this like burn orange um, colour. I again got this one in a 36, which I think is an 8. And this is called PU Belted Detail Jacket. Uh, the colour's called rust on this, but it, yeah, burnt orange rust. Similar thing. So anyway, it's a cropped trench, as you can see, and it's got really wide arms, which I love. I think this looks great paired with like a tight knit top underneath because it comes through and then it's got the slit here and these are really, really wide. It also has a wrap detail, which you can pop. Can you see that there? Can't do this with one hand which you can pop in here and then it also has a tie belt so you can like proper cinch it in on the waist which I think looks really really flattering it also has some pockets here and it just feels really great quality I think the price for this was around 65 pounds so it, it is on the pricier side for a cropped jacket but I think it's well worth the money um 
It's got a really soft lining in here as well. The only thing that slightly frustrates me is that obviously you can sometimes see when you move, you can see the lining. I would have preferred that to be matching, but I'm not gonna be too picky because I do really, really like it. I have styled this with a cream rib top underneath with black jeans and knee-high boots. You can obviously also wear normal boots. You could also wear this with like a black turtleneck and black leather trousers. I think that would look really good, or black jeans. I think it's such a versatile color and such a lovely autumnal color as well. Sticking on the leather style, I picked up a pair of leather trousers. I've really want I've got a pair of like skinny leather leggings, um, but I really wanted a pair of leather trousers which weren't like too skinny on the leg and kind of more like a straight leg style. Um, so I saw these which I really really liked. They are now I got these in a. I got these in a 36, they are massive on me, um, so I definitely need to get a size down, which I will, because I love the style. It's got the piping detail down the leg, which I really like. On some leather trousers that don't have that, I kind of find that it makes my legs look bigger than what they are, so I feel like that's a really good thing that helps with like making your legs look slimmer, and then yeah, they just go all the way down into a straight leg. The material is really good, it's nice and thick and really soft which is what I like about both of these pieces and obviously the puffer as well is that, is that the leather is really, really soft. Um, but yeah, like I said, I would definitely size down. I think these are around 35 pounds. So again, kind of on the pricier side, but I think you get the quality with that. It has also got some pockets here and I think these are a really great trouser. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna exchange for a size six and I'm hoping that they fit better because I really, really love the style of these. I can, I can still try them on to show you. They're just really big on the waist, but they are kind of like a nice fit on the leg, but I don't really think I could get these tailored. I'm not sure. I don't know how that would work. So yeah, that is the leather trousers. The last thing that I picked up from Naked Fashion is this ribbed top. Now I've been on the hunt for some ribbed tops just to like kind of wear around the house and when I'm filming and things like this. And I saw this one and really loved the detailing. So it's got like, is it called like the la lattice? Lattice? I don't know. It's got kind of like a raw edge here and then also on the sleeves. Sorry if that's really mucky. I wore it the other day and it's probably got makeup all over it. And then also on the hem. I got this one in a small... Um, it's, again, it's really, really soft. I really, really like the neckline of this. I've paired this one with the um, burn orange trench and it looks really, really nice. And it's such just a good top just to chuck on underneath jackets, underneath jumpers if you want to layer. And I definitely want to get some more of these in different colours because, yeah, I really, really like the fit of these and they're just such a classic piece to have in your wardrobe. Um, I'm pretty sure this was around £15, so not too expensive at all. Really, really good and a really, really good quality long sleeve top. Okay, so now we go on to the couple of bits that I picked up from ASOS. The first thing that I picked up was this beige oversized scarf. I've been really in need of some more oversized scarves because I only have a black one at the minute. So I find with some of my neutral outfits, I kind of wanted a beige one. This one here from ASOS is really, really nice. And what I like, and what I love about it is that it's really, really oversized. So this is how wide it is. And then it is also obviously double because so I've just got it folded up there um, but it feels really really soft I really love this colour I think it looks really really nice paired with like black also paired with neutrals it looks really really great these are really not expensive at all they're around £12 so a really affordable price for a good quality scarf so I'd 100% recommend this one I'll just show you up close the colour so it's kind of like a beige mild brownie type of colour um, but yeah really really like that one and another coat. I'm just addicted to coats at the minute, guys. I'm really sorry, but I just can't help myself. So I wanted a quilted coat, and I saw this one on ASOS, so I had to get it. And it's got the kind of lapel collar here. It's got a couple of poppers here, and then it goes all the way down loose, which I really like. I've seen quite a few quilted coats that have got large quilts. This one's obviously got the small one, which again, I really like. I did get this one in the UK for. I do find ASOS coats to be really, really oversized. This is still oversized on me, and I wear it UK 8, and this is a UK 4. So if you don't want it too big, then 100% size down a couple of sizes. And yeah, it's just a really big oversized coat. It's got pockets here as well. Um, I want to say this was around 60 to 70 pounds, but obviously there's up to 50% off everything. So definitely go and check out the price for this one. It's a really soft light coat as well. Not too shiny and it's matte, which I really, really like. Um, I have styled this with an all black outfit with then the scarf on top. Um, and yeah, I really, really like that outfit. 
another coat because I just can't say no and I got this it's kind of like it's a white and a black sort of like knitted coat and it just looks so expensive I think this was around 70 pound mark um again I got this one in a UK for I love the design and I also thought the design of this would also go really nicely with the beige of the scarf um, I think this would look grey with, again, an all-black outfit. I'm planning on wearing this with a black turtleneck, black jeans, and then black socks and loafers. I think that would look really, really cool with this one. I actually think that most of my coats are from ASOS. In fact, I could probably say that all of my coats are from ASOS, and I think that's probably right and pretty accurate. Yeah, I just love them. I think they're a really affordable price. They're a lot cheaper than the Zara ones. You definitely cannot fault the quality. This one is fully lined as well and all the way down the arms which is fab it has three black buttons down on each side they also have the flat pockets here and it's also got oh i can't show you but i'll show you the cutaways the slit at the back which i really like so i find that really flattering it's also got four buttons on the sleeve and yeah i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of this coat i really really love that zara have a similar one and it's like 50 pound more maybe even more than that so yeah i really really love that one and then the final item and then the final item that i've got to show you today is a pair of boots um um, so I picked up these boots, so they're in like a cream leather, and then they've got a darker beige sole, and then they've got a zip up the front. Um, I think these would look great paired with like nude leather leggings and like an all nude outfit. I think they would also look really good with like an all black outfit and then maybe like a cream puffer or something like that. Um, I've yet to try these, I've tried these on, but I've yet to try them on properly with an outfit, so I'll report back on how I find them, but I've seen quite a few people style this colour boot so yeah I think it will be quite easy to do and yeah I just thought it was something different and I really liked them um so I'm gonna give them a go I get a size six just because I'd prefer to get them a little bit bigger just so I can wear thicker socks with them up because I'm between sizes and these fit really good but the leather feels really soft I don't feel like they're gonna hurt like on the back of here when sometimes you get blisters really really soft leather really really good quality can't remember how much these are um but obviously yeah you'll have to go and see and see how much they are in the sale as well but i really really like them and that was the last item guys i hope you really enjoyed this haul make sure you go check all the items out because like i said all the prices will be discounted during this week um if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and i shall see you tomorrow with another video